Hello, my dear students. Today, inshallah, we will make general revision on prep two, second two. Okay, sheet number one. We have answer the following questions. In the opposite figure, we have the maximum displacement done by the spring away from its rest position. So we have a spring that move away from the rest position. Where is the rest position? This is the rest position. So when the spring move away downward, downward together toward the, the gravity or toward the center of the earth, so it make a maximum displacement. What is the maximum displacement? It's like the amplitude. So we have the amplitude of the, the spring scale. This is 3 equals 3 centimeters. So the amplitude equals 3 centimeters. Using a figure, calculate. So when we use a, this figure, calculate the, the vertical distance covered by the spring through 3 complete oscillation. 3 complete oscillation. So to make one complete oscillation, we have to remember that. So if we have the spring, let's move from the rest. This is the rest. Rest point. And move downward. This is a amplitude. This is a amplitude. About 3 centimeter. This is about 3 centimeter. What about the complete oscillation? The complete oscillation equal the, the one complete equal four from the amplitude. Four from the amplitude. So we have amplitude as three centimeter times four. So we have twelve twelve centimeter twelve centimeter. So the complete oscillation of the spring scale equals 12 centimeters. But what about 3 complete? 3 complete. The 3 complete equals 3 times the 1 complete oscillation. So we have the 12 for 1 complete. So 3 times 12 equals 36, 36 for the Three complete oscillation. So the choose will be 36. 36. Number two, we have the, the frequency of the spring equals. The frequency of the spring equals. So remember with me, we have the law of the frequency as the frequency equals 1 over the periodic time or the frequency equals the number of oscillation divide the time okay we have the the time inside the drawing or the figure but what is this time represent this time represent a the time for the amplitude the time for the amplitude and as we calculate the complete oscillation, we have to calculate the, the time of the complete oscillation. So, the time for complete one, it's named by the periodic, periodic time. So, the periodic time is capital T equals 4 from the amplitude, for the, the time of the amplitude. So it's equal 4 times 0 0.1, 4 times 0 0.1. So the periodic time for complete one oscillation equal 4 from the time of amplitude, 4 from the time of the amplitude, 0 0.4 second. So the time or the periodic time for complete oscillation equal 0 0.4. Okay, so we have the the frequency equal the number of complete oscillation divide the time so if we choose one complete divide 0 0.4 so it will produce 2.5 2.5 hertz for the frequency hertz for the frequency
the correct answer for the the frequency of the spring equals yes 2.5 number two we have complete the following statements we have as the amplitude increase the sound intensity the relation between the intensity and the amplitude is yes it's direct so it's direct number two the sound intensity at a certain point is dots proportional to the square of distance so the relation between the distance square of distance or distance square and the intensity is yes inversely so it's inversely too and between the intensity and the square amplitude again between the intensity and the square amplitude is direct proportional to so the first question will be inversely inversely and the second will be direct again okay number three we have the maximum displacement made by the oscillating body is yes it's amplitude so we have the amplitude number four the human can again the ear can differentiate or hear the sounds of the frequency range between okay this is a sonic sonic waves the sonic waves range between 20 hertz to 20,000 20, or 20 kilohertz 20 kilohertz number five the sound frequency is measured in a unit called by the frequency by the hertz the frequency by the hertz or kilohertz of course while the sound intensity measured in yes the sound intensity by the decibel decibel unit okay number six the sound intensity is this is the definition for the sound intensity it's uh, the sound property that differentiate between the strong or weak sounds again the sound intensity is the property of the sound can differentiate between the sound this is so strong or weak sounds while the sound pitch is the property of the sound can be differentiated between the sound this is a sharp or harsh sound sharp or harsh sound okay give reason when we see the lighting before hearing the sender so we see the lighting before hearing the sender this is by the the velocity of each of them so the velocity of the light is more than the velocity of the sound or the sender one more time we will write that uh, due to the light as yes the light is electromagnetic so the light electromagnetic waves is more velocity than the sound mechanical waves sound mechanical wave okay number two the usage of the ultra sonic waves in the milk sterilization so we use the ultrasonic waves to sterilize the milks okay to kill the bacteria and stop activate of the viruses or the reproductive or the virus